What's going on? It's Triple Rich, Kick Talk Volume 7. And I'm back like a Jordan Retro. Except we're talking about Air Maxes today. And today, we are going to talk about the OG, the Air Max that started it all, the Air Max 1. So let's get it. I keep a designated pocket spot. Leave the message with the man. I'm never home alone. I'll be posted in your parking lot. Like the 80s one. So let's talk about the origin stories of the Air Max one and how it all came to be. First thing we need to do is go back in history a couple years before the 1987 release. Did you know that 1978 is when Air Max technology actually happened? Did you know that a NASA space engineer created Air Max technology? I bet you didn't. So let's talk about that. The Air Max technology was around before the Air Max one came out. You had the Nike Air Tailwind, which is what the first Air Max technology came from. Then you had the Air Force One in 1982, which also had Air Max technology. And then you had 1985, where the Air Jordan One was debuted. All these three models had Air Max technology before the Air Max one but they didn't make a splash in the industry like the Air Max one. And let's talk about why. To know about the Air Max one, you got to know about Tinker Hatfield. He created the shoe, and this was one of his first ever projects working as a shoe designer at Nike. Fun fact, 1981, he was a company architect for Nike, coming up with building layouts. It wasn't until 1986 they tapped him and said, hey, you think you can come up with a shoe? And he came up with this. He actually went to France looking for inspiration, and he landed on this building called the Georges Pompidou Center. What's amazing about this building is the outside is on the inside of the building, and the inside of the building is on the outside. And what I mean by that is the pipes, the structuring, all the steel beams that you would see on the inside of a house are actually front-facing to the world. And what Tinker got from this was, wow, Maybe we can show the window of the inner workings of our Nike technology the same way this building does. So he ran with it. He also actually took the color concept, the bright red as well as the blue from the other OG release from this building. When he came back and he came back with this inspiration, he put this Nike idea with the bubble on the desk and no one in his corporate office liked it. People actually wanted to get him fired. He did finally get some approval from an executive who was higher up and they ended up moving on with it and I'm sure they're glad they did. What's also interesting is March 26, 1987 was when the Air Max one first came out. That date is now Air Max day. So you gotta understand this is the OG of all OG Air Maxes. This is actually the first ever Nike to have an exposed air bubble unit. So we have a lot to thank for, for this OG sneaker. This year for Air Max Day, 326-23, they are dropping this beautiful red and white Air Max one again, except this is the remix. They're putting that big air bubble on it this time. And what's so significant about that is this is the closest to the OG creation we're gonna get anytime soon. Fun fact about the big bubble is the Nike specs on the ads made the bubble look even bigger than the shoes they originally sold. So I think this big air bubble shoe we're gonna get is going to be the closest thing we have to the OG and I need to get my feet in a pair. What about you? Are you looking forward to the big bubbles? They're right around the corner. They're dropping, I think it is next Sunday. So please get ready. I already got an L on the early drop. My wife didn't though, so <sighs> at least somebody in this household's winning. I do have these in case she doesn't get me a pair when they drop again since she seems to win everything on sneakers. But I'm really trying to get the big bubbles. Are you hype about the big bubbles? Talk to me. Let's talk about Air Maxes because it is March, Air Max month. But until then, I'm gonna keep getting better and I hope you do too. It's Triple Rich and this is Kick Talk. Hey, who's this? Volume 7. This is Have a good day. Very good. Have a good day. Click.